Maybe it's better if you don't smile. Look, it's for my wife. If I don't smile, she's gonna think I'm depressed. Uh, yeah, but if you smile like that, she's gonna think you're crazy. Okay, that's good. Don't move. <gasps> Like an elephant! <laughs> Stories of sea serpents have been heard on board ships since man set sail. Well, what if he's right? I've heard you say legends are often based on truth. Sake, what's wrong with you? I... I was dreaming about the sea serpent. Ah, oh, not you, too. Ah, sea serpents. Yeah, uh, next it'll be pigs that fly. Uh, and chocolate eclairs with a nice raspberry coolie. Yeah. You know, I saw a sea serpent once. Huh? Yeah, at the circus. <laughs> ah, come on. It is possible Walrus saw something. Maybe it's worth investigating, you know, while we're here. Agreed. And around here, there's definitely something worth investigating. What do you mean by that? Go get your gear. I'll show you. Show us what? Just get your gear.
there's a species that measures around three meters long. That's about as big as they get. Well, the one I saw was red, a sort of collar and marks on its side. This one is just a, a snake. Laticata colubrina, to be exact. <laughs> Beautiful, isn't it? Um, is it dangerous? Quite. It's a cousin of the cobra. Same family as the African mambas and the Australian tiger snakes. Nasty bites. Their venom blocks respiration and paralyzes the heart. Well, that's just great. I'm sure not going to dive. said that they can't open their mouths large enough to bite a human. Personally, I wouldn't trust them. They can unhinge their jaws and swallow fish that are bigger than your finger. I have my anti-venom serum just in case. the olive sea snake, from its Latin name, which is Apicirus. They're all quite dangerous, but as you can see, they're not monsters. Probably? What's going on? 
Lift your foot up slowly. I'll take care of it. Jeek, you're a real surgeon. <laughs> How's your appendix? on the tablecloth. What? I'm explaining. <laughs> so what was it? A coral snake? No, it was black and yellow, like a bee. Hey, listen to this. Off the coast of Ile des Pins, a large reddish snake suddenly appeared starboard, causing terror among the sailors. I tried to assess the length of the strange creature that I estimated to be around 40 feet. I got a glimpse of its head, talked with a sort of fin before the beast disappeared into the water. Wow! 40 feet? That's 12 meters. So, do you believe me now? Where did you find that? On the net. It's an excerpt from the notebooks of Thomas Pluvier, a naturalist who'd been deported to New Caledonia. Wait a minute. When I told you, you didn't believe me. But now, because it's on the internet, you believe it? Well... That guy was a scientist, not an engine room scaredy cat. We'll start by going around Il Depa. It's full of reefs around here. We'll have to be careful. slope that leads to the abyss. According to Pluvier and Walrus, these great sea serpents come to the surface when it's dark. Secondly, because other animals come up from the abyss after nightfall. There'll be lots to see. I'll take one camera, Ianis the other, and Bernard the light. Jean-Paul, you'll remain in the Zodiac. Aliun, you stick close to Rainy. If there's the slightest problem, I'll be there. Listen up! 
There it is. If it weren't for those two stupid sharks, we would have had it. Do you think that it was 12 meters long, like Pluvier's serpent? <laughs> I wish I knew. Our only chance to know more is to go down in the diving saucer. I'll get it ready. I'll tell you everything, Walrus. I promise. Anyway, you can follow it all by radio. Calypso, loud and clear. We're at minus 200. There's nothing. You think it's not here? Well, we mustn't kid ourselves. Man's been hunting the sea serpent for centuries, and no one's seen one yet. There's really no reason to think we should succeed. You hear that? He still doesn't believe me. I know what I saw. Shh! There! There! We've got something. It's undulating like a ribbon. It's pulsing. What is that thing? An eel. It looks like a giant eel. Five meters long. No, maybe even eight or ten. Enormous! It's him! It's him! I see the collar, Walrus. You were right. But a meal is more cylindrical, and it doesn't have a crest or those filiform pectorals. It's an enormous monster! It sparkles. It's magnificent. <laughs> Whoa! Look, it's a... A regolec. That's it, a regolec. In the Atlantic, the fishermen have named it the king of the herrings. I don't believe anyone has ever seen one alive. Oh no, it's leaving. We'll follow. Dropping the ballast. It's going back to the surface. We're going to lose it. 
Vincent, I want two cameras on deck. If it surfaces, you must get some footage of it. Oh no, it's coming toward the ship. Ha, 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 ha.